Good afternoon everybody, with Colin here with Tech Out. Google I.O. has just concluded. Um, they, um, not Google I.O., but the Google presentation during Google I.O. has just concluded. And the Android P beta is out for the public. Um, you can now download with an OTA update. You don't have to sideload it. So to do this, um, you're going to want to navigate to the Android beta program website. Um, just Google Android beta program and you'll see the Google link to it. Um, and it gives you all the information about it right here. Um, you can read the updates and how you participate. Um, but you're going to want to click on devices up at the top here and view your eligible devices. I'm on my Pixel right here. This Pixel is signed into my Google account. Um, you're going to want to log into your Google account that your, your device is signed into. Um, there are only a certain amount of devices supported such as Google's flagship devices like the Pixel and the Pixel 2. So I'm on my Pixel 2. I've already clicked the opt in button so you can see the opt out button is now available. If you opt out it's going to push another OTA update to your device within 24 hours, most likely sooner. Same for opting in. We're going to pop over to settings here. And I, as soon as I did this, I went to settings and checked for the update. And it was already available. So it took a minute or two um, at the most. If we see system update, we do have beta version of Android P, PPP 2.1804.12.013 on your Pixel 2. This is a pre-release version, may contain errors and defects that can affect normal functioning of your device. Um, to learn more, click here and it'll take you back to the beta website. This is technically the second release of the beta. The first one, like I said, you had to sideload. Um, that was made only for testing apps and testing for major bugs and stuff like that. So this one is made available so the public can easily install it. Um, supposed to be a little bit more stable um, and is somewhat okay for day-to-day -day use. Like, like they said, there is a chance for bugs and errors to be in there that can affect your performance in day-to-day -day use, such as battery um, crashes and stuff like that. Uh, but I'm going to review it, so I'm going to actually install it onto my device. Um, and I'm going to have another video in, uh, in a few hours with the first impressions of it, um, what I like, and then I'll do a video within about a week of any major issues that I've had. So if you guys want to wait um, to see if I have any major issues or if anybody else has any major issues, wait for that video before you install it. This has been Colin with Tech Out. This is how you uh, install the beta version of Android P on a Pixel or Pixel 2. If you guys have any questions, go ahead and drop it down in the comments section below. And as always, don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe.